I am here with Christiane Lopez from Food Network's Chef's Di Chef Dynasty House of Fame. So, hey, I noticed I, it's on Tuesday nights on the Food Network, right at 9 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m., or you can stream it on Discovery+. Plus. So what is TikTok Rice? Can you tell us? That is one of all of our guests' favorite dish. It is the sizzling TikTok rice. And we call it the TikTok rice because we bring it over on a very, very hot platter. Fried rice, and then I have the egg wash. And then you pour it over, and you're essentially making fried rice table side. And the guests love it so much, they whip their phones out. And you know, they record the rice being made. So we call it our TikTok rice because it went viral. It's just one of those things that I think, especially now in the restaurant industry, it's all about presentation and getting the shot and putting it on your Instagram story or posting it on your TikTok because you know your restaurant experience went above and beyond. And that is certainly one of those dishes a background on the show. We essentially go through the day-to-day -day operations of very popular restaurants in San Francisco, Fang, which is where I work, and House of Nanking. These are like San Francisco staples when it comes to Chinese food. And like I said, there's a lot of presentation. There's very popular dishes. Now on the uh, one of the previous episodes, Chris Yamaguchi, right? The figure skater? Yes. Yes. Um, How fun was that to meet her? It was style. amazing. Uh, Christy Yamaguchi is truly, you know, childhood idol. She was the reason I started taking ice skating classes when I think I was six years old. That was the very first sport I'd ever done. And um, Christy just meant a lot to, I think, a lot of really young Asian girls growing up. She was the very first person that we saw on TV that kind of represented our culture um it was the first asian woman that i saw on tv and i felt very special and connected to her because her name was also christy i am the owner of studio sash pageant consulting where i coach girls from across the u.s to achieve their dream titles which have totally happened i've had girls win international state national and local titles um under my coaching, and I'm a very proud pageant director for the Regency International West Coast Pageant. And we just recently opened up registration, so contestants are joining the pageant if you are ages four to 45 and up. The Regency International Pageant has 10 different divisions. Well, yeah, Regency International Pageant for everybody, it is huge from around the world. So what are your future plans for, let's just go 2023. You have some goals that you haven't achieved yet that you want to, you know, check off the bucket list? I love that question. Um, I do. Um, a few things, I think. I, I would love to create a source of passive income. Um, doing a lot of research and, and doing so. There's so many avenues for anybody. Um, I've always just had an entrepreneurial spirit. Um, and I want to travel more this year. I think that since 2020, it's been really tough to kind of get out of the country and do my thing. So I, I would love to go to the Philippines and visit family over in the motherland and head to Asia. I think by doing this show, I am so um, appreciative of my culture and roots. And I really, really just want to head home and, and see what that's like. You look amazing. You're talented. You're doing it up this year to 2023 for oh. you. Thanks so much. Oh, you thank have a good night and thanks to everybody for watching.